my name is Neil Malik with Knack Trading, and in today's Everyday Office video, I want to discuss with you how to get different page numbering in different segments of your Word document. So, for instance, in this case, we have an introduction on page number one here, and then a few different subheadings under the introduction, and then right here we have working with us on page number three. So on page number three, working with us, let's say that after the introduction, these three pages worth of introduction, we want to go from lowercase Roman numeral numbering to restarting with page number one on working with us on a brand new page. Now it's at this point where unfortunately a lot of people get into trying to use on the insert tab at the top of the screen, this idea called a page break. And the problem with the page break is that while it will take worth it working with us and push it onto page number four, it doesn't do anything to differentiate between the introduction section and the working with us section, how we're going to change and do some new page numbering. So in order to do that, what we need to do is go to the Layout tab and under the Breaks drop-down menu, notice that besides the ability to add a page break, we also have the ability to add a section break that pushes things to the next page. So it's a page break, right? It allows you to move on to the next page, but it's also what they call a section break. A section break allows you to differentiate between the headers and footers of one section versus the other and have a different type of page numbering or really anything else. Uh, page layouts, um, anything that goes in the headers and footers, any of that information can be different from one section to the next. So using the layout tab, the breaks drop down menu, I choose a next page section break, and you can see here it puts working with us onto page number four. Now what I'm going to do is double click on the header of section one, and I want you to look through these and see we have the header of section one, the footer of section one, header of section one, footer of section one, header of footer ones, uh, header and footer of section one, and then right here, header of section two, and then over on the right, it says same as previous. And that is the next thing we've got to fix. If you want a different type of page numbering, then the header of section two, and you can just click anywhere in the header of section two, needs to not be linked to the previous section. You'll see on the design tab at the top of the screen, which is under the header and footer tools right here, only when you're in the headers and footers does this show up. It's not the same as the other design tab, so be very careful about this. On this design tab under header and footer tools, there's a button that says link to previous, and I'm going to deselect that button. Now you can see that that fixed header so that it's not linked and same as the previous. However, the footer is still linked. It is still the same as the previous section. So I'll click down on the footer and deselect the link to previous option. And now you can clearly see that there is a section one and a section two, and there's not a connection between those two things. So I'll go to the footer of section one, double click here in the middle to put the page numbering in the center. And let's zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Okay, so here is the footer of section number one. I'm going to go to my page numbering drop down menu, go to the page numbering for the current position, and just choose a plain number. You can see there that it gives me the number one. I'll just tab it over. I don't want it to be the number one. I want it to be a uh, Roman numeral. So I right click on it, choose format page numbers from the little drop down menu that appears. And I choose instead of a number formatting of one, two, three, lowercase, I, 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 I. Click OK. And there is Roman numeral one on the first page, Roman numeral two on the second page, Roman numeral three on the third page, and then when we get to section number two, you see, no footer. So it's at this point where I go to page number, current position, page number. Notice that unless you tell it otherwise, Word is going to assume that you're still talking about a continuation of the same pages, even if you do want different types of numbering. So I'm going to right click on page four here, 
choose Format Page Numbers. And I'm not only going to make sure that the page numbering is set the way I want it to, but I'm also going to choose Start At 1 to restart the page numbering. Click OK. And there you go. Page number 1, page number 2, page number 3. Let's see that going here if we go back up to the top of the page and we want a table of contents. So on my References tab, on the Table of Contents drop-down menu, I'll just choose Data Table of Contents here. I'll make a new page break to move introduction onto the next page. Notice that's not the same thing as my section break where I needed to redo the numbering. I'll go up here to the uh, Insert tab, insert a new page break here to put introduction onto the second page. And lastly, here on my Table of Contents, I'll just click directly onto it, choose Update Table, and update that Table of Contents so that I can see the introduction is on Roman numeral 2, understanding where we're going is on Roman numeral 2, facilitating the absolute best is on Roman numeral 2, and then working with us starts over at page 1. And that is how section breaks can let you do exactly what you need to do in your document. You can see here that the introduction ends on Roman numeral 4, and then we start over with the next section on the new page.